presents this award to Doug Henico in recognition of his lifelong commitment to Maine's forests, including a decades-long career in the private sector and his service as Maine State Forester, in which he implemented the state's first outcome-based forestry agreements, consolidated forestry regulations under the authority of the Maine Forest Service, chaired the Baxter State Park Authority, embraced urban and community forestry program, and improved operations on Maine's public lands. Congratulations, Doug. Yeah, I, I want to thank Don for those kind words. And my transition from the forest kind of industry segment to the state was really easy because I found out that they were still practicing the mission that they have been given many years ago in spite of all the different administrations that flowed through the main forest service had remained true to what they're supposed to be doing and haven't hadn't been corrupted by political thing along the way and a lot of my success perhaps call it that uh at the main forest service was in no small part due to dawn uh he was always my go-to person and dawn i appreciate that greatly uh and i don't know as i ever said it enough if i haven't uh, I hope this rings true today, and uh, it's the way I've always felt uh, towards what you did for me. Much appreciated, Don. Thank you. I think it's good to once in a while dust off what we're giving these awards for. Uh, we, we don't have many named awards, but Abby's, I think, is, is an extremely important one. And I'd hate to lose a sense of why she was important to the industry. and. You know, 30 years from now, who knows who will remember Abby Holman? No one will unless we keep that memory alive, which I think is worth doing, and the award alive. I want to thank the council for giving me this award. Uh, as I wind down my career, I, uh, it's, it's good to put something on the, on the top, a cherry or a frosting. And I consider this uh, extremely important to, to my career and knowing that I was appreciated to the degree that I was considered for this nomination. I consider Abby in extremely high regard. Always have, always will. And to have anything attached to my name with her name means a great deal to me. So you've, you've made an old man uh, extremely happy with this award. It came as a surprise, but it was a very welcome surprise, and I thank you for, for doing this tip for me. In, in addition to thanking the council for having this take place, uh, I wanted to thank the many people that I have touched, or that's, that may be too kind a of word, I've uh, pummeled <laughs> over the years, uh, in their relationship with me. But you don't get anywhere without the help of other people, and. And if I haven't recognized people enough, I apologize for that. And hopefully uh, people will understand that I have recognized that I can't do anything by myself usually. I need help. And I have appreciated that help over the years from both the, the public sector, uh, Don and his team, and the rest of the Maine Forest Service, public lands, and the forest uh, community in, in general, and the forest industry in particular. So I appreciate all the efforts you did to, my, to make me a better person and more effective. So thank you for that. I did want to touch on uh, something I've been doing this summer, which may be getting too personal, but my house sits in the middle of a, of a large late successional forest. And this summer I, I put together an operation because it needed some work before I wasn't able to do any more. I got, I got a forester and a contractor to come in and uh, work together. And uh, there was a fellow buncher and two processes and uh, you know, two folders and two uh, processes and uh, the fellow buncher and then a bunch of trucks. But I was sitting in the middle of this all summer. At 3.30 they'd start to load and I looked out the window and saw a light and then heard the machinery. And I can't tell you how much that meant from a guy that shut in to be exposed to forestry 
in its action phase going on around me. That gave me a lot of uh, incentive to keep going is uh, a little better. And I, I help, can't help but think it would be nice to have Abby uh, come and sit beside me and watch that. But it was just a great experience to see the forest industry and forest people at work doing something productive on the land. And that was a, a good fill-up for the summer because it was really boring all summer just sitting around. So I did appreciate that uh, a lot. And I think Abby would have enjoyed sitting there and listening to all the equipment going by the door yard. So it's been, a, it's been a strange summer. No question to uh, start to wind down the things I, I really like to do. So this, 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 this a little on award and being able to interact with you today is very meaningful to me in that still being kind of in the game and being able to reach out to you folks and talk with you, kind of, and just tell you how much I appreciate what you did for me and with me over the years. Uh, again, I can't thank you enough for the award, nor for the things you've done to make my life a success. Thank you.